have fun with that? I was just jumping in muddy puddles and singing songs to God. Oh, it's my favorite day of the week. Do you know what day it is? It's the day of church day with my friends. Woo! It makes me so happy to go to church with all my friends. With you. Do you know my name? That's right. My name is Pastor Beth. Can you say, hi, Pastor Beth. Hi, Pastor Beth. Oh, it's my favorite time to be with you guys and go to church and go on Bible adventures and learn memory verses and sing songs. It's my favorite, favorite thing to do. I love learning about God. You know, he's with us if you're at home or if you're at church or when you're at the grocery store or if you're playing on the playground or jumping in the leaves. I love to do that. We're jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite. I do love to do that too. I do. Do you? You know, our memory verse for this month says that God is with us wherever we go. If we're at church or jumping in muddy puddles or jumping in the leaves, wherever we go. Do you know the memory verse? Can you say it with me? God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. Awesome, let's do that again. God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. He's with us wherever we go. If we're here, or there, or over there, or up there, or down there, or at your house, or here, when I'm happy and when I'm sad. And you know what? Because he's with us wherever we go, we know that no matter what, God's got it. On a bad day, God's got it. On a good day, God's got it. On a funny day, God's got it. On a sad day, God's got it. Can you say that with me? God's got it. Who's got it? Who? God's got it. God's got it. No matter what we face, we know that God's got it. You know where I learned about great things about God and that no matter what we face, that God's got it? We can trust that God's got it no matter what. I go to the Bible. <laughs> The Bible is the most amazing book ever written. All of the stories are true and they tell us about our God and how no matter what, God's got it. No matter what, God's got it. Do you guys have your Bible with you? If you have your Bible, give it a big hug. Say, I love the Bible. I love the Bible. You know, today we're going to go on a Bible adventure. We're going to head to Ollie's Clubhouse in just a little bit. We're going to sing and we're going to dance to another song. And we're going to learn another Bible story, a true story from God's Word that will teach us that God's got it. And no matter what, we know that God is with us wherever we go. Wherever we go. And so parents, I want you to get your Bible out. Because afterwards, when this is all done, you're going to read a Bible story to your kids. You're going to take your kids on a Bible adventure. And remember, if you check your email, I got a great at-home parent guide for you guys to play a game together and ask questions and go on your very own Bible adventure. Because guys, families who go on Bible adventures, oh, it's the best. It's the best. Well, I know I'm ready to go on a Bible adventure. Are you? Yeah? Well, let's go, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for going to church. And now let's head on over to Ollie's Clubhouse for a Bible adventure. Bye, guys.
time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. made it. Hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. I can't believe it's still raining outside, but I'm not letting that slow me down. I decided to do something very special inside since I can't go outside and play. Do you want to see what I did? I made a yummy to the tummy rainy day snack basket. Now, any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse today can have a delicious snack to brighten up this rainy day. Who doesn't love snacks? We've got muffins, apple slices, fruit snacks, and cheese sticks. These are all of my favorite snacks to share. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? A basket of snacks you've got there, do you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, I sure do. I thought I'd do something special for any of our friends that come and visit the clubhouse in the rain. They can reach into this basket and get out a snack. Snacks are special. It's true. But baskets can hold more than snacks, too. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. That should just about do it. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. It's been raining all morning. But now that it's stopped, I can finally work on my project. Oh. But you're here for a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Okay, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. Okay, you can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins in a place called Egypt. Oh, look, it's a baby and his mom. <laughs> Mothers love their babies and take care of them. This baby's name was Moses. Oh, see how much his mom loves him. But the mean Pharaoh in charge of all of Egypt had made a rule. He said that baby boys like Moses had to be taken away. Everyone say, oh no! Ready? Oh no! Baby Moses' mom did not want him to be taken away, but she knew God would take care of him. First, Moses' mom made a special basket. Then she gently laid him in the basket. Now, pretend you're holding a baby. Now put him gently in the basket. Oh, great job. Moses' mom took the basket down to the river. Moses' sister, Miriam, went too. They hid baby Moses in the tall reeds by the river. Moses' mom trusted that God's got it and that God would take care of her baby. So she left him hidden in the reeds. Moses' sister, Miriam, stayed to watch and see what would happen. Hmm, let's help her watch, okay? Everyone look around. Keep looking. Do you see anything? Oh, oh, <laughs> it's a frog. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking. Huh? What? You see someone? Oh, wow! 
a princess. Ooh, the princess of Egypt. Uh-oh, Bibi Moses is crying. Do you think she's going to help? Oh, she is. She is going to help. The princess decided she would take Baby Moses home with her. Just then, Moses' sister Miriam popped up and asked the princess if she needed someone to help her take care of the baby. The princess said yes, and Miriam went to get someone. Hmm, can you guess who she brought to help? Oh, it was Moses' mother. Yay! Moses' mother got to take care of him again. What an amazing story! And what you need to know is that just like God took care of baby Moses, he will always take care of you. He's always with you, so you don't ever have to worry because God's got it. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God took care of Moses, and he will take care of you too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, I loved that story. God took such good care of Moses in the basket, and God takes care of all of us too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm taking care of my friends with this basket. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9